Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. But most of you are probably coming here and you're new. So welcome, This my name is Dana Brown, in case you are new. Our connection, if you're watching this, is my twin sister Erin. Her name is Erin Hatch and she lives down in Salt Lake City, Utah. I live in Seattle, Washington. So why am I here talking about my twin sister? So if you are part of my regular channel, when my little sister got married a few weeks ago, for you, the video came out just a few days ago, the day before her wedding, my twin sister Erin had a fire at her school. We didn't talk about it in my videos because we wanted the attention to go to my little sister's wedding and that weekend and all the fun of that. And we didn't learn about the drastic results from that fire at her school. And that's why I'm doing this video today. The end result of the fire at my sister's school, she teaches math at a middle school. The fire that broke out at my sister's school happened to be in the room right behind my sister's classroom. And it caught her classroom just enough on fire that the total damage that insurance has deemed is a $500,000 loss. So her, complete, her classroom is a complete loss. They're going to have to tear down her classroom down to the studs and start all over again. It also means that she has lost all of her school supplies, all of the manuals that she has made. At the time, she had just made 300 manuals for her classroom and another classroom, and they were a complete loss. The district and the insurance are covering costs that they have established so far, but as you probably can assume, insurance doesn't always cover the exact cost of all the pens or paper or supplies that she has created or made or built up or bought over a 10 year career at this school. So what we're doing today is creating a GoFundMe account for her in order to get her funds to buy the supplies that she needs to finish furnishing her classroom. The range is like from pens to paper to classroom design. Obviously the school is going to cover computers and that kind of stuff but there's a lot of supplies that she's not gonna be able to cover. The reason why I am creating this GoFundMe account, one, because I'm her sister and I care, but two, because per district policy, she cannot actively pursue and ask people to donate funds for a school-sponsored event. She cannot do that. So I have to do this, and I'm creating a video, and then I'll link it to the GoFundMe account, and I'm gonna put that link down below in the description. What I need you guys to do in any way you can, go and help donate even a dollar to help support her getting her supplies put back into her classroom because the kids need to get back in the classroom. Right now, they have a, a weird schedule where they're, they're just doing the core classes and they're having to work in lunch rooms and work in classrooms that are not their own and they're going to have to be doing that clear until Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving and then they'll be able to get back into classrooms until her actual classroom is built. So what we need to do is try and build up these, this fund so that by the time her classroom is open and back into business she'll be able to get the supplies that she needs and get back into business. But the reality is she's doing this for the students. She's doing this for the sixth graders that just want to come to school and learn and they and that's what she's done at this school for 10 years so every dollar that you donate will help her be able to get back into that classroom and back to teaching and back to doing her job so I'm just asking if there's any way you guys can help out every little bit can count and I want to do my part from a distance if you can take the link and share it with your friends on social media that would be great too if you're watching this straight from YouTube Go ahead and share this video as well. I, that's okay. I wanna be able to get the word out there and share this message and get word out there so that we can go and support her. Thank you very much for joining me. If you wanna see regular day-to-day -day videos or tutorials or anything like that, you're welcome to join me here on my channel. We love to have you. But if you just wanna support Erin and her GoFundMe, that's just fine too. But what I would like you to do, leave a comment below Give Erin her well wishes, even if you can't donate. Send her your love, and I will get those messages back to her so that she can see that people are at least thinking of her if they can't donate. I know I have a lot of people that live 
across the world and they may not be able to donate to an you know and not I don't know if it GoFundMe is an international fundraiser but go ahead and leave a comment below and send her your love and I will get that message back to her so let's go ahead and build up this GoFundMe account so we can get the supplies back for these kids so that they can get back to the classroom and working again thank you so much and have a great day